your puzzles five dollars okay all right cool oh yeah thank you how much would you do for all of them like just a box of puzzles uh one two three four five six seven eight Okay, $20. that'll work for me. Thank you. I'm gonna move them to the side while I look, and I put a cup and those little salt and pepper winner dogs in there as well, just to let you know. <laughs> Your boots. Um, I'm for 20 for okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm going to check out your clothes.
think I'm ready if you have a second. And I want to show how much your clothes were hanging up. A dollar. Okay, so would you like your hangers back? Yes, yeah. I'll give you a bag. Oh, thank you. I'd put them in the box, maybe. We'll see. Anyway. I got seven pieces of clothing. The boots for 20. The puzzles for 20. So that's 47. And then all those little bits and bobs. 48. All right. Thank you. And here's your... Hang it. Five, six, seven, and eight. Thank you very much. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the bag. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day. You too. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, hi. Good. I like your shirt. Oh, thank it's you. It's very cool. <laughs> yeah, kids, uh, awesome. I'll take a look. on your painting by chance that'd be okay thank you there you go thank, thank you, you very much have a nice day all right you guys welcome to the whole portion of the video where i show you what i picked up at today's yard sale so let's just get stuck in and um, this is the only item i got from this yard sale it was otherwise mostly like just baby stuff um and this is really just kind of christmas fodder for my uh, for my store if you like um Price of $5, I actually paid $3 for it. It's brand new in sales and it's just a Barnes & Noble paint by number um, sort of gift set, if you like. Uh, something like this hopefully will go for around 20 come Christmas time. Next, I absolutely paid up for these items more than I usually would, but I think that I'm going to make a decent profit. I'll tell you why. So this item here is actually for us to keep because we just love us some Halloween Snoopy. So, and I paid $12 a piece, by the way, which is, again, way more than I usually would. Um, but this one's to keep. And then these ones, while they don't do fantastically individually, um, when you have the set of three for this, like, Monster Mash band uh, from 2019 they actually seem to be selling quite well anywhere from between like 60 or up to 85 in this brand new condition and um, technically i paid 36 dollars for the three of these which is obviously quite a lot of money to have in them but we are rapidly approaching halloween i do have the full set they are brand new in the boxes and i'm going to shoot close to the 85 dollar mark and that will still give me a good sort of like 30 dollar profit to be made here and plus really really easy to photograph store and ship so we have Dracula on the organ, we have Wolfgang on the drums, and then we have Frank on guitar. All right, and then everything else that's left here is just from one particular yard sale. And I think I spent maybe $40 total, maybe 50 I can't quite remember. I think 40 We'll see. <laughs> So let's just get a few of the little bits and bobs out of the way first. We just have this little vintage um, Star Trek something or other. I don't know. I just threw it in pretty much for free. Um, got another one of these Disney glasses. We use these at home all the time. So when I spot them, I pick them up because they go with our set. Um, and then these little vintage wiener dog salt and pepper shakers. Unfortunately, they are missing the stoppers, which is a bit of a bummer. But uh, I could not resist them. I just thought they were too darn cute to leave behind. <laughs> all right, we have some clothing pieces here. There wasn't a lot going on in clothing until I hit just this little pocket of vintage stuff and so I grabbed all of those and these were like a dollar a piece and uh, so this one paper tag definitely a vintage piece this is like a long black jacket um, and it has this really cool sort of I don't know what you even call that where it sort of crosses over here like an asymmetrical um closure with these amazing 80s buttons like it is so so 90s 80s big like shoulder pad sleeves couldn't leave it behind for a dollar I also got a vintage sort of formal dress, prom dress, if you like. So it's, it's sort of an emerald green color, kind of like a sateen. Off the shoulder with the little straps. It is full length, so like down to the floor, and it is union made. So that was a dollar as well, which is what a bargain. I've got no idea about this piece, um, but it looks like it's in almost new condition, and it is branded as a Beauty and the Beast piece, kind of like a formal dress or a prom dress. Um, so again, for a dollar, I did grab that and I'll have to do some research. Sometimes those pieces can do really nicely. This I thought was super cute as well. Uh, so we've got Made in the USA, no branding on it, but look how cute this like little, I don't even know what you call it, like a little baby doll thing. So 
shoulders here it's sheer all the way down and it has this really cool ruffle detail here again super super like mid-mod 1960s i ended up paying 20 dollars for these boots um but again when everything else is so cheap it's just a dollar it kind of all comes out in the wash if you know what i mean but they are brand new in the box they are timberland um ankle boots they do a little bit of wiping down. You can tell she tried them on one time, but that's about all they have going on. And actually the comps looked really, really nice for them, like around the $100 mark. And then at the back here, I finally have a whole bunch of Disney Thomas Kincaid jigsaw puzzles. I paid $20 for the whole stack of these. These four here have previously been opened, so I will probably sell them as a lot with the disclosure that there may be a piece or two missing in there. Uh, and then these ones are brand new, never opened, so like sealed on the side and stuff. So we have Princess and the Frog, we have the Lion King, we have Tangled, and we have this really cool set of four here as well. So again, Christmas fodder. These are the kind of things that sell all day long when it comes to Christmas time. All right, and that is everything that I got at today's yard sales. As always, if you enjoyed the video and you want to come along with me to more yard sales to find things dirt cheap to flip online for a profit, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you never miss a video and you never miss a yard sale. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.